In today's video, I'll show you my first computer vision project for a summer of undergraduate research. It uses the OpenCV library in Python to count cars passing through a counting line on the road. My target goal was to provide a simple alternative to traditional traffic sensing technologies, which could run on an embedded device, such as a Raspberry Pi with a camera. First, I'm going to briefly explain the algorithms used, and I will walk you through the main parts of the code at the end. The link to the GitHub repository is also in the video description. And remember to ask any questions you have in the comments. The main components of the project are background subtraction for motion detection, pseudo object tracking for counting, then displaying the images and saving the output to a file. I will now explain what background subtraction is. So, the idea behind background subtraction is to keep a reference image of an empty background. For example, in our case, we need an image of an empty road without cars in it. Then, when we get cars in the frame, we subtract the reference image from the current image, pixel by pixel, leaving only the areas that changed. This is motion. Now we apply a threshold function to turn everything into either black or white to make contour detection easier. Contours are the white blobs that are left after the threshold, for this project, I am using an accumulated or average background image. This means that instead of keeping a single image from the beginning, my reference frame keeps updating as the video goes along. If something enters the frame and stays for long, it will eventually blend into the average and the object will not be mistakenly detected anymore. As a result, the program can better adapt to illumination and other optical changes in the video, such as day and night cycles, for example. While there are computer vision techniques such as optical flow to track objects in motion, I decided to go a different route. To reduce computational use, my script makes an educated guess frame to frame about which car is which. Don't pay attention to the numbers next to the cars, they mean nothing yet. Simply put, I compare the contours in the current frame with the contours in the previous frame. The ones closer to each other are assumed to be the same object. I'll illustrate the process here. For the first step, the script reads in a frame and finds all the contours of the cars through the method of background subtraction. Then it stores the centers in pixel coordinates in a list to be used for the next frame. Now, a new frame from the video feed is read and all the contours are detected again. We will cycle through each contour in the frame and compare its center distance to the previous frame centers. We we'll start with this contour. The Euclidean distance to each of the previous centers is computed. Now we compare all the distances and find the shortest one. The assumption is that a vehicle won't travel too far frame to frame, and therefore the closest one is assumed to be the same object. Once we determine which of the previous centers belong to the current object, the script checks if the counting line falls in between the two points. If it does, then the counter is increased. The same process is repeated for the rest of the contours. Finally, the current centers are saved to the list for the next frame and the process repeats. In my code, I also add a clause and if a statement to limit the distance that can be recognized. So if the distance between the previous point and the current point is more than half of the bounding box for that object, I'm not considering it. This prevents errors like when the car goes out of the frame and the next one shows up in the frame, then usually the counting line will be activated if I don't have a clause like that. So that's basically how I'm approaching object tracking in this project. You can check the code to get a better idea of what I'm doing. I will now quickly go through the code to explain the most significant parts. The GitHub repository contains two files with the code. main.py and traffic underscore counter.py. main.py contains the setup function and the command line interface. TrafficCounter.py has a Traffic Counter class, which handles all the computer vision related components. The most important functions to look at are bind objects, underscore is line crossed, and main loop. All the object tracking and counting happens in bind object and is line crossed. Bind object takes the current threshold frame and detects all contours in it via an OpenCP function. By default, only the 10 largest contours are kept, but 
This can be changed from the command line interface when you're running the script. After that, the function follows the algorithm I shared before in order to determine which car is which. The main loop function reads in a new frame, updates the average background, and performs the background subtraction step. After that, I apply CV threshold and dilation functions to help the control detection process. Once the loop is over, the video source and video writers are released. I know this is a very quick overview of the code, but you can check it out in the GitHub repository, and I tried making it as clear as possible. Also, check the readme file that can contain some more information about the different options you have. I will quickly explain how to run the script. The software versions that I'm using are Python 3.7.8, OpenCV 4.4.0, NumPy 1.19.1, and Immutils 0.5.3. The script is run from the command line argument. To check all the different options for the command line interface, you can use the help flag, like this. Now, to actually run the script, you would say python main.py the P flag for the video path, then type the name of your video or the path to your video, the direction of the line, if you want the line to be vertical or horizontal, depends on the motion that you're capturing where it's going from, and the position of that line. Then there are a few extra parameters like the video width that you want, that will also affect the output video width. It will be the same. If you want to save your videos to a file, use the VO flag. You have to put the flag plus a text. That text will be included in the file outputs as a base name. The default the script uses the codec MJPG and the extension AVI for the video, but you can change that with the VP flag. Just test it because it will depend on your system configuration to be able to actually output a video and might be a trial and error approach. And now the program is running. If you want to see more of this, remember to subscribe to the channel and also give a like. And check the GitHub repository for the code and any information that I might add, I could also put it there. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time with the next Python video. If you have any suggestions, you can also leave it in the comments.